until the day. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Egg and Baby in the morning playing some Repentance. Another day of uh, stream grinding completes. Still got a long way to go. I and just looking at Jacob and Esau, like it fills me with such a sense of contempt, but also dread, but also something ticklish in like an internal way. Um, and let's just not worry about what that means. I'll, I'll discuss that with my therapist later. Um, you know, so here's something is tempting, right? What if you did a keeper run? And you just tried to shoot for the, the heavens. And what would that mean on a keeper run? Uh, 0R346HTX. It would mean possibly the alt path. It would mean uh, possibly... The true ending to unlock the B-side version of the Keeper. I don't have a great idea of where we're going quite yet, but we're gonna we're gonna do our best. So the new Keeper has actually been changed to the extent that I would probably go so far as to say that they're not just a meme anymore. Um, and and I actually I loved playing as the Keeper in the the old version. You know, in the Afterbirth Plus version of the Keeper, just because it was like a flex, right? Like, we, a lot of times you random the Keeper and, you know, on the average day you random not the Keeper. And you go, okay, we're just going to have some fun today. You know, a little casual grocery store bagged milk conversation. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. You random the Keeper, you're like, alright, it's time to play. I liked it. We shouldn't have done that. Lover's card is just flies, Empress, okay. So what, what are the differences? Well, you start with three coins instead of two uh, as your HP, which I think also means that you have the ability to uh, get back to three, because this is, represents like your maximum HP as well. But the big change is that deals with the devil. Uh, <laughs> the big changes that deals with the devil are now um, money. So you can actually take them, which is why, like, I'm unbelievably stoked to be getting so much money here. Because, like, not only do these represent potential shop items for us, but, you know, the ability for the Keeper to actually take some of those high-value deals with the Devil that used to require, like, a, a truly perfect situation is, is a big improvement. Um, always love a Tears upgrade, of course, and, and actually this run's looking, like, pretty sick so far keep you posted on, on how things are going. I mean, we might be able to go alt path here. The only thing I will say, because I, I, I'm being maybe a little ambitious so far. The only thing I'll say is that I think the only way we find ourselves beating um, really any of the, the true endgame bosses, like, you know, blue baby, whatever, but we're not out here just trying to get a blue baby run. Uh, the only way we're going to beat any of those bosses is by having something that allows us to use... We gotta check. We gotta check. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm a genius. Maybe. Let's see. Um, is by allowing us to have something that gives us regeneration. You can't hit that. Like, just don't be a fool. Why even take the chance, you know? If we, if we screwed it up, we would have lost this beautiful run already. So anything that gives us like extra charges on the coins or the ability to like uh, when we get hit we drop consumables or something like that. Those are the things that will enable us to beat some stuff on the post-it note. But we could always unlock, you know, Tainted Keeper just by getting to them at least. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. But I'm going to tell you, it, as, as controversial as it may seem, for the time being and only for the time being... By the way, we're going to drop this key here just in case we decide to go to the true ending. Um, for the time being, let's go to the alt path. Because this is the design space I want to explore a little bit more of in, in, in Repentance. Is the idea that if your run is good enough, why not, right? Okay, so the R key, I believe it allows you to restart your entire run. Um, which is a little scary for me, because I think that we would lose wooden nickel. On the other hand, if I don't use it in some way, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like it's it's somewhat cowardly, right? Can somebody explain to me what I was hit by? It was probably a bullet that I didn't see because of the reflection. 
Yeah, I, I'll own up. Okay, yeah, yeah, it was that exact thing. <laughs> All right, I, I call off the dogs. I'm no, I'm no longer upset. It's completely my bed. That's okay. I don't know, man. Like, I just feel like it's. I don't know. It's a tough decision. Let's just leave it at that for now. Let's see what our deal with the devil looks like. Like, I'm assuming. Here's my guess of what the R key does from what you know. I, I've picked up ambiently from from reading chat. I think it's going to allow you to restart your run, like, from the first floor, but maybe with everything you've already got, with the exception of your space bar. Come on! What? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, with the exception of your space bar item, which normally would be completely fine, but obviously your space bar item is, like, a little bit more important when you're playing as the Keeper. By the way, talk about a, a pretty choice item there. Um... So both of these are not good, unfortunately. That was a real opportunity for us. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna break my rule here. I'm gonna read the wiki. Repentance wiki R key. The R key. It's an activated item. Return to the beginning of the run run with all stat boosts and items intact. The timer and score do not reset. I don't... I, I mean, you know... I, it's a tough decision. <laughs> because I fancy myself not a coward... Oh, and get me off the wiki, please, because you never know when it's going to start playing some advertisements for Tide Pods. Um, I fancy myself not a coward. But I also fancy myself somebody who enjoys expediting um, runs, not to have them done in the shortest time frame possible, but, you know, the, if you wanted to, like, really maximize your chances of winning, I guess you would just go all the way to the end, use the R key, and then start again from the beginning. Now, I can I tell you something with all sincerity? I actually think, I mean, what can I tell you? It's 9 a.m. on a Friday. I don't go live for two hours. You never know how the baby's gonna be. Like, she could always start to kick up a fuss right now. She's very distracted, which is nice. But I think we owe it to ourselves to at least take the R key. Um, to I, I was just reading the wiki. But uh, to, to take the R key to... Uh, maybe... The mom fight? And then go back from that point onwards? Because it seems like if you do it the other way... Like, if you, if you wait... Oh, Sci-Fly is so good, dude. If you do it the other way, you run the risk of uh, possibly creating a situation where you're unable to actually get the cracked key. So we already probably lost the trinket that we were originally going to uh, pick up as cracked key when we restart this run. But yeah, okay, I'm going to give it a try. So we're not going to worry about key pieces. And we're also not going to go to the mines. We're just going to farm up some items. It did say you only get to keep the stat upgrade, so I don't know if this stuff's going to stick around. Because we really don't want to lose Psyfly, right? And by the way, I only really feel comfortable with this because of uh, the fact that we have uh, three coins instead of two. So this is a, an initial uh, kind of improvement to, to the Keeper, I think. Otherwise, like, I, don't get me wrong, like I said, I, I, I love playing the Keeper in the original game, um, or at least when the Keeper was added, but there was a catch, and the catch is you kind of were shoehorned into doing runs in a specific way to have a maximum chance of, of victory. Yo, a new pencil just dropped. Hey, baby, you okay? She's okay. Whoa, hey. Okay. We're just chilling. That's why you, that's why you leave coins. It's gonna be that much more important for us to leave coins. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really don't want to lose the sci fly because I, I feel like that's almost a uh, a game winning item for us. Uh, yet at the same, especially for those late game bosses. But at the same time, I think it's in the spirit of. Um, of experimentation, right? That we should check out uh, how this R key works. Oh, whoa. Uh, hey, honey. Baby's doing well. Eating well, sleeping well. 
Keep filling up those diapers. That looks like a tinted rock to me. Oh, ho, ho. well, that at the very least, if I if I read properly and we only get to keep stat upgrades, that do be a stat upgrade. Nothing wrong with this. So yeah, I, I just because uh, and I mentioned it not just for you but for me as well, just to keep myself on the right path here. I think our methodology is we're gonna go. We probably <clears throat> won't fight mom. But we'll, like, get to the mom fight, maybe? Or at least, like, that floor? It's another stat upgrade, man. It's actually, like, double the rate of fire. That's incredible. And Rotten Baby is insanely good. And that was a Lucky Penny, which also would stick with us. Yeah, yeah, we can go down to the next floor here. Um... So we would at least get to the the last item room before mom. Uh, we won't fight mom unless maybe we feel like there's a good deal with the devil chance there, which is actually completely plausible now that I think about it. This is all assuming we live that long. Then we will... Okay, sure, that's fair. That's my bed, my bed. Uh, then we'll use the R key. It should restart us on the basement one. It'll be the most powerful keeper start in Isaac history. Uh, and... If we still have some of these items, we could start to look at the possibility of maybe doing some endgame stuff because we're going to have double the, the means by the time we get there. But in order to do that, I would really like to have the strongest items ever made in this game. <laughs> Sci-Fly is up there. It's actually like genuinely close to the top, I think. And, you know, in terms of... I, I think this is like a 1 in 50 kind of run right here. I mean that with all sincerity and genuinity. Genuineness? I, one of these days I'll look it up. Uh, but you know what I mean, regardless. Sure, why not? You know, it's not what we're looking for, but it's something. Uh, beating the alt path as the keeper is going to be one of those challenges that's like really tough for people to do, I think. Myself included. So I think the the right time to try it is when you get a truly special run like this. So I, I think that's that's my game plan. For the time being, you know, we're gonna recognize that this is a special run and try to do some special stuff with it. For now, for 15 cents, I, I don't mind taking mom's key. It's gonna make our chests that much better. And actually that seems super useful. Um, when we're going to be relying on coins showing up in a lot of situations. Like, the alt path is is just dangerous, right? Because, like, any boss can hit us three times. <laughs> Even some of the early game bosses I'm, like, embarrassingly bad at. Uh, at least on the alt path side. And we don't have any means to generate HP on the fly, right? Which is normally, like, a prerequisite to do well as the keeper. We've, we've won runs as, as old keeper without having any of that stuff, but we were also, you know, fighting bosses exclusively that we fought 300 times before. But damage output is, is insanely good here. Shots don't really have a great chance to hit us. Only, I would say, like, units, uh, like, with contact damage, and then also beams have a good chance to hit us, but everything else is, like, Sci-Fly pretty much takes care of it. Case in point, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm optimistic. But for now, you know, settle in. It's, it's probably going to be a bit of a long one. But I will say there's also like, and, and you know, this is not me just trying to, you know, garner some sympathy or like, oh, you didn't have to do that. But, you know, we're streaming five hours of Isaac almost every day on Twitch. Sometimes we're mixing it up a little bit for my own sanity. Uh... I thought to myself, like, you know, I, I, this YouTube run is going to be a little tricky if we try to use the R key. But then I was like, come on, you got to give YouTube a treat. The runs are, are long in general, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, like, let's, let's give YouTube something special, man. Let, let's, let's give YouTube a discovery they haven't seen before. It's a tears upgrade. Shot speed, okay. I mean, the tears are, like, out of control right now. Do we mind? No, we've been to our shop, we've been to our item room. Okay, so we will go to the next floor, and, and we'll probably end up fighting Mom. That's my guess. Simply because of the fact that uh, we have a 67% devil deal chance and a lot of money. 
So we, and this is like an insanely fast run. <laughs> this is like unbelievable how quick it's going. But yeah, things are good. Hope everybody's doing well out there. You know how it is, just the, you know, hurry up and wait as far as we're, you know, getting the vaccine doses and stuff like that here and event, ooh, eventually returning to some degree of normalcy. I've been uh, reading books and taking walks, and that's pretty much the, the synopsis of my uh, of my March and April. And honestly, this I'm not complaining. It's been kind of nice. Mind you, would it also be cool to feel like it's in a position where we could like go sit down at a restaurant and you know maybe eat a delicious thin crust wood fired pizza? Uh, that was not good damage. Sure, that, I mean, that would be nice. You know, to, to be able to sit down and eat a pizza where the, it had been cooked on such a hot uh, oven that the pepperoni, like, curled up into those little cups that catches all the oil. There would be some, there would be some interest there, sure. But, you know, we gotta wait. We all gotta do our part. Can we talk about the fact that I just realized Charm of the Vampire is a, a damage upgrade? That's a new one. I also think that, that Charm of the Vampire... Good damage. <laughs> that, that, that's a, a, a side effect of having 0 0.7 speed. My, my brain was like, you could definitely make that. That's how I feel when I see most people cross the street. You got like a, a three lane in each direction crosswalk. And uh, we, we need this trinket actually to be able to drop it on the start of the next run. Uh, well, the, the start of the R run, I should say. What's your limit for, like, when you cross the street? This And I, I get that we're farming up a banter a little bit here. But, like, for me, if it's just me, it obviously depends on the size of the street. Um, but if it's just me, no baby, and the, the little hand has, like, a four next to it, I'll do a polite jog to get across. And maybe, you you know, it says D don't walk when you're like two steps away from the other side of the curb. That's no problem. With the stroller, I'm like a 15 second guy because I don't even want to run the risk of like get... I'm, I'm, I don't think people would just immediately like bowl you over. But, you know, I've seen a lot of dash cam footage of people just like walking through... Uh, or not walking through, but like driving through red lights. So I don't even want to get them started on a green. But I, I'm always the audacity of some people. They see like a one on the on the hand, and then they go, "No, nah, I'm gonna cross." There's still, you know, that's like you gotta get through the intersection in one second. Not uh, not you've got one second to enter the intersection. Look, I'm not trying to. I'm I'm just saying the rules are what separates us from from the beasts. I'm not gonna buy. Pandora's box. Here's what I am going to do, okay? We're going to save our money because we know that there's a great chance for a deal with the devil here. Ooh. And then we're going to also continue to save our money for a deal with the devil, potentially on the future run. Baby. Baby. Okay, baby. I got to focus for a second. It's blue mom. I see your blue mother shining through, you know, Cindy Lauper. <clears throat> you ever seen that video? I was enamored with this Twitter clip last year of, um, I believe it was the singing of like, We Are the World or like Live 8 or something. Live Aid, I should say, or something like that. And like Michael Jackson is singing and he just absolutely crushes it, you know? He's an unbelievably talented performer, right? By the way, we will not be taking nine lives, but we will be walking into Boss Rush, <laughs> taking an item that I'm like, I don't know, man, just give me conjoined, I guess, in the future, and let's go, or in the present, and get me out of here. We still have all of our familiars, look at that, plus death's list. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. You're smiling, you know what's up. But, um... And, by the way, I, 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 I shouldn't say I loathe having to even mention it, but people are gonna be like, why don't you play the Blood Bank? The way the Blood Bank works with the Keeper is not guaranteed to pay out with, uh... 
with coins. Yes, if we had a supply of extra coins on the levels, we could definitely give it a try. And what we're looking for, of course, is a speed upgrade. I don't really know what Rotten Tomato does, but we're taking it. Um, anyway, they, but th that's the main methodology for why we're not prioritizing something that you might think is like extremely obvious. Um, but Michael uh, Michael Jackson absolutely just crushes it, you know. Sings a, it sings his part beautifully. It's um, it's transcendental. Okay, why not? Why not take it? And then we got to try alt path. Like this is the, you. You get very few chances to make this work. Let's give it a shot. Next, Huey Lewis from Huey Lewis in the News sings his part. Doesn't sound as good as Michael Jackson, but you know what? He he's doing his best. Honey, we're gonna not take number two, or butt bombs because I think it could screw us up pretty badly here mom's eye I'll live with it following that Cindy Lopper and and I didn't know until recently that I was not a Cindy Lopper fan but kind of like squeaky screechy out of tune over enthusiastic and and underqualified and the, the whole time it's going on, Michael Jackson is just looking at him out of the corner of his eye, being like, what's, what's wrong with these people? It's a great video. I don't know what you would search for. Maybe search for Michael Jackson, Cindy Lauper, Shade, as the Zoomers call it, and you might be able to find, uh, you might be able to find the, uh, the clip for yourself. I'd recommend it. It always cracks me up. Okay, we're farming money. <clears throat> we gotta refocus ourselves. I mean, to be honest, it's not that rare to be 20 minutes into the run and not be too far in. <laughs> That's pretty difficult, so this doesn't feel that weird. Um, what are the keys to success on this run? Obviously, like, deals with the devil that could give us, um, like, huge damage potential, because and we're almost there already, but... Deals with the devil that just absolutely destroy would go a long way. We're about to see if we get one right here. Also, we still kind of need the prerequisite. I think we definitely want Goathead. I don't think we care about the Razor, but Goathead is huge here. Um, baby. I think, um, and by the way, keeping Psyfly, I think it totally gives us a shot on the, on the alt path boss if we manage to make it that far. Keep in mind, this is we, we got a lot of advantages, but this is still hard. It's not this is not an easy game, especially going in this direction. But um, we we still need the items that you would need, or I would still like the items that you would need if you were the keeper to begin with. So I'm uh, stupid, by the way. I'm gonna remind myself when we get to this next boss, we're gonna drop the trinket. Yeah, we'll just take the tears upgrade, I think. Um, we're gonna drop the trinket. No, We're at the tears cap or something? Is this not a tears upgrade? I've, I've made the mistake before. <laughs> anyway, we, we got like our own homebrewed Monstro's Lung. But yeah, we, we gotta leave that trinket behind. Compost is, is interesting. I'm not saying this is not an opportunity to make it tick, but maybe not on this specific uh, permutation here. Should be trying Death's List a little more for sure, but it's, it's a difficult item to finesse. It do be a difficult item to finesse. I don't want to risk taking damage just to get like a pill dropped or something. I thought we might have gotten it there. But yeah, okay. So, all that Michael Jackson based banter aside. Just trying to remind myself, you know, stay focused. We, we got to deal with the devil every single floor. We can afford to be a little choosy, but we do also have a lot of money. So we don't have to be choosy. That's good. Leave this trinket. Take this. Take this. Check your deal with the devil. I will absolutely pay 30 cents for a speed upgrade and flying. And then, like, we're, we're getting really strong. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. So temporarily, we have 12 luck. Now, please remind yourself, we are going the full alt path this time. So with that in mind, 
I am extremely annoyed by the fact that we, like, don't, uh, know what the map looks like. I, I just say, it's not really, like, this is whiny, okay? Here's what I wish happened with Curse of the, like, I, you don't know where you're going, and a Curse of the Lost. Um, I just wish that they made it so, after you beat the boss, the curse was purged. It feels like that would be a compromise, right? I, I, I am not involved in game design, so I probably shouldn't phrase it as if it's, like, so obvious, but... That's how it seems to me, is, like, the, the punishment is that you don't know where you're going, but once you actually have finished a, a run, it kind of just feels bad, man. You're like, once you finish the floor, everything productive on the floor, it kind of feels like, you know, you're... Basically, they're just punishing you just to laugh. Anyway, maybe, maybe that's... I've got a chip on my shoulder unnecessarily. So we're definitely going to get the key piece, or the, the knife piece. We don't have to fight the boss, but we're doing so much damage. It's it's kind of an unnecessary risk. I'll, I'll own up to it completely. But I think that realistically, we will kill the boss within the time frame of our iframes from getting hit once. I'm, I don't want to go so far as to say it's mathematically impossible that we die, but I think it's like... It's so likely we live, we might as well try. And it, it gave us nothing of value, but it cost us nothing as well. Okay. Well, it, I gotta tell you, like, 26 minutes in here, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good about our, our potential. Just remember you're going all path. I, I do still want to caution people, because I see it happen on stream people's expectations get get built up to like a large degree how could this run possibly lose you gotta couch all of your expectations in the idea that the game is still really hard and all it takes is a, a momentary slip up for everything to kind of to fall down right so we're gonna do our best and we're doing pretty well so far and we're doing very well so far but it is also very easy to just have a momentary lapse of judgment and go on the wrong path. <laughs> That's the other thing. <laughs> like, I've got to... Hold on. i got to give HP to the... Okay, we can still do that. That's not a problem. Because i got to give HP to get to the mausoleum. Oh, man. I'm so stoked we can fly for the mausoleum. That's going to make life a lot easier. I've been hit. I've been hit. Okay. It's a good reminder that things are not easy. Let, let's go check out our, our curse room. Uh, dude, that could be Curse of the Tower, but I gotta know. That's insanely good. <laughs> curse immunity, baby. All right, now we're gonna know where we're going. Wonderful. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you noticing as well? Like, we, I know with Death's List, like, we haven't done the best job. But we have also... Already gotten a big damage upgrade, and then now a nice tears upgrade as well. So, this is, this is... It's against my better judgment. But I'm starting to... I almost put myself in a dangerous spot. I'm starting to get attached to the idea of getting the win here. Which is a scary thought. Okay, good. This is easy deaths list. Every stat matters. That's a luck upgrade. I mean, we lost our 10 luck upgrade, but we're still doing <laughs> quite well. <laughs> and it, it's a little stinky, but I, I'm glad we got the mom transformation. I don't want the pills at all. Um, we we could have taken Ludo, and, and it honestly might have been fine with this run, but I don't know if you can blame me too much for approaching things the way we did. You know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We got really good like rate of fire, really good AoE. And, dude, thank God we can fly. I can wait. I can wait on this. <clears throat> we might as well buy the battery. And I, I, I think, like, the, the best thing I can say is that, like, as time goes on, our, what we need in order to get a victory narrows greatly. 
Like, we're probably getting pretty close to the point where, like... You know, a, like a Justice card or something like that leaves us in an awesome spot to, you know, just be able to... Almost like when you play The Lost. Like, just having something that can bail you out of a situation where things go badly, if, even if it's only temporary, is is super worthwhile. I got a Dude, our key is, like, actually... I mean, like, it's gonna <laughs> make the run take a lot longer. <laughs> but, uh... It's like the strongest item you could ever imagine, because it's like all the items you're willing to get before the R you use the R key. Add it on to the to the next run, right? Okay, so we have no reason really to be here. We can head down to the next floor. We're not missing the, the knife piece that's next floor. Dunk dunk dunky dunk. And uh, by the way, probably don't need to tell you, but extremely stoked. Krampus's head once every uh, three rooms or maybe like twice Every six rooms if you want to put it that way because we have the battery. It's a pretty nice get I, I gotta be honest. I almost took the right item. There is it like a snap judgment I think that would have been a pretty bad decision because sack of pennies Immediately is maybe not that good but getting a lot of money for more deals with the devil Although we're probably like way over where we need to be is pretty solid but the main thing is like it could pay out in beautiful situations and if we need to manage our health more closely we can do so don't spawn enemies just gives me deaths deaths list death. yeah, 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 yeah yeah that's a tears upgrade dude this is crazy we've like become our own sprinkler baby isn't that exciting you don't know what i'm talking about that's i guess you wouldn't have any concept of what a sprinkler is fair enough Now this, I, I, I usually, I shy away. I hesitate from saying things like, like, whoa, this is the most interesting Isaac episode we've had in Repentance so far or whatever, but genuinely, okay, you, you love to see it. Easy boss. Genuinely, this is like the most noteworthy run <laughs> that we've had in Repentance so far. And I mean, like, I, I don't even think we can do, get any more. Never mind. Some of the items just break the tier cap, which is, is beautiful. Um... We need to leave some money behind. Don't don't screw that part up. Dude, I mean, it's unbelievably good. Incubus and Dark Matter, both, like, easy takes. And then I'm going to pop Temperance and blow it up. For that obvious purpose. You know what? I b baby, hello. I bet this is why they buffed the Keeper. So that he could actually get the dang door open. Now, I almost left. We cannot leave. We have to get that second knife piece. But from that point onwards, we're we're set, right? Oh my god, this like this is an unbelievable <laughs> combination. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been so consistently impressed with the quality of items on a run. Like almost every time we've had the opportunity for a good payout, we've gotten one. Something, something, something. Thing. Halloween baby good and charm of the vampire by the way does heal us so like the more uh... <laughs> why why is this room so hard right now um, charm of the vampire does heal us so really we have other means to generate HP I hadn't even considered now that I think about it okay now do not blow it here that's the most important thing because we, we can't fly, all of our stats are bad again, and you can only get hit three times. I just made myself nervous. I never should have brought it up. I'm Now I'm a little bit more scared. Take a deep breath. Feel, feel the electrical activity in your thoracic cavity. And then we're just going to remind ourselves that we're good to go. We're good to go, baby. Well, hold on. Look at that. A little tinted rock back there. If we could get the bombs necessary to use it. Okay, so we know what we're doing. It's all about the dodges. It's not about speed. It's about dodges. If you can set up safe dodges. This one didn't... It just didn't feel right to me. Pretty lucky room. I feel great about that one. I feel horrible about this one. It's okay, you know. We're okay. Look at that. Look at that. 
Yeah, yeah, get baited, get baited. Good walking, good walking, good walking, good walking. All right. Small room. Don't let it get you into a false sense of security. I saw it coming a mile away. As soon as I, uh... As soon as I set that up, I saw it coming. We're gonna exit. <laughs> um, my rocks, by the way. What happened to my rocks? I'm, I'm worried that I might have gated myself out from, like, being able to complete the room, but I don't think that's the case. That's fine. Take your time. Two rooms. Two rooms remain. Beautiful dodge opportunity. Really respect and appreciate you there, game. Thank you. Do the same thing right there. And look at that. We're free. All right. All things considered, we can't be very upset about that. Have seen some scuttlebutt, by the way. People are like, do you get a, a stats upgrade for doing that? No, you actually just... Uh, that's you getting your stats back. From earlier. Okay, now, remind yourself. We're going to the mausoleum. I'm just a notch in your bed post, and you're just a line notch in your bed post, and you're just a line in a... Something. I don't know the, the words. Can I tell you, as as somebody that fancied themselves as a uh, as a little bit of a, a musical um, snob, let's just call it you know call it like we see it. Even in high school, you know, a little bit of a snob. If you'll excuse me here, uh, I had to pretend to not be really into the song "Sugar We're Going Down." by Fallout Boy in order to avoid cognitive dissonance on my own end because all the music critics that I followed were like, this is not good. I'm, I'm here to tell you in 2021, my personal opinion now is that the music critics are wrong or they were wrong back in the day and Sugar Were Going Down, actually uh, a goaded song. And by goaded, I don't mean one of the greatest of all time, but I do mean good. <laughs> Which I guess is what I'm using it for good. Dude, the lucky pennies, man. Okay, strength, tower, justice. Justice is a, a 10 out of 10 card on this run. Baby, don't drop yay dude avocado on the ground. Don't drop the yay dude avocado on the ground. I'm very glad we settled in on this run. And, and stopped making excuses for, like, why we weren't going to use the R key, and instead you just used it. We made a plan. I can't overstate. Like, I don't know how much implication this would have for the average person outside of Isaac. Just stating what I want to do out loud in this game has um, such a good track record of, like, improving my ability to comply with it. <laughs> Bookworm is not bad. I think we're gonna stick with uh, Krampus's head because the double damage, for, well, from using it twice, is is awesome. I'm sure there's probably some, you know, you could put that in a self-help direction if you wanted, but really for me and Isaac is just about like, you know, there's so many different paths you could do now that just stating what you want to do uh, out loud is, I mean, is undefeated. Also undefeated, this ridiculous damage potential we have. <clears throat> it's not potential, I should say. It's it's realized. Like this this one has the chance to go down in the in the record books. <clears throat> one of the first 300,000 gamers to complete this unique challenge. He's doing it. He's doing it. Look at that. Okay. You might as well take the meat. We, we don't spend uh, HP on deals anyway. I really, in, in some situations, I think you could take Sack Alter and, and try it. Losing Incubus or Rodden Baby is such a huge negative for us. I, I refuse to give it uh, the time of day. And I stand by it. We made the right decision there. Now, um, I do see Diplopia. And Diplopia, you know, it's interesting. But I think at some point on this run, we gotta, like, look at it and go, you know what? Like, we're already there. We don't need to try to get there anymore. We need to try to stay there. So I don't think that we take Diplopia. And in fact, I think we take nothing. 
as insane as it may sound when we have so much means available to us. Now, from this point onwards, maybe, if I'm correct, because it's been a while since I've gone this far on the alt path, honestly, but I feel like we just beat the game. Like, not that we have beaten the game, but I feel like the next step for us is just... We, we no longer have to worry too much about um, what we're doing. Um, and now I'm, in fact, realizing what was the point of leaving that trinket back there. If we're just going to go alt path, we don't need to leave the trinket. That being said, it I mean... It's not a huge loss to have left it behind. Um, but, you know, there, there's some irony in that I was talking about keeping my ambition straight, I guess. <laughs> it happens. So, um, we, we really should be using Krampus more. We're not suffering consequences for not doing it, but there, we should get in the habit, I think, of, you know, at, at least once every three rooms. Why not, right? Because we're just trying to go to the corpse on this one. And just, you know, you go to the corpse, you beat the bosses on the corpse, you're good to go. Yeah, I, I think we got a chance. And I know you might be saying this is a perfect time to get, like, that true ending. It is, but it's also the perfect time to get the, uh... Why not, I guess? Hey! It's also the perfect time to beat the, the boss down here. And, I don't know, like, maybe, maybe we disagree with one another on this, but I, I feel like the boss uh, on the corpse is actually harder than the, the true ending boss, just because it's a little bit more of like a, a bullet hell sort of situation. So that, like, I really want to use Sci-Fly on, uh, on that version. Dude, Krampus is, is killing it for us. This is amazing. Yeah, I mean, I... I don't want to say I don't see how we can lose this one because I, you know, I've been wrong on that more times than I can count. But I definitely feel like it's we have the every available advantage short of maybe at this point getting like Brimstone, and the odds of us getting Brimstone or, or Guppy or something of the like is actually really high. Maybe not full Guppy, but we're in a great spot. <clears throat> in fact, and, and I recognize how this will sound. We're like we're getting set up for comedic timing. Oh, hello. Uh, but I feel like we might as well get that. I feel like the boss who gives us the greatest chance to die is actually Mausoleum Mom. You know, a lot of contact damage and beam damage instead of uh, instead of bullets, which are hard countered by Sci-Fly. Unlike the the final boss on this path, which you know gets destroyed by Psy Fly, um, I think two of hearts does double our hearts, like our, our coins, I guess in this case, um, instead of just giving us flies. I'm not a hundred percent sure about that, so I'm gonna stick with justice for now, just out of like risk management, I guess, but. Restock is worth buying, I think, even though this is our, our last shop. And then we can at least look. Trinket Smelter. I, I don't think we care for it, but I also think we're going to have a huge surplus of money. So we might as well smelt. And then I know we have free deals with the devil, but I, I think we will take the candle just to see what we get. And I think we will... I know that Steam Sale, it looks like with restock, we're going to end up in a beautiful situation. But with, with ascending prices for each item... I think that we're actually pretty good, and the deals with the devil can be 30 cents, you know? So if we see, like, two deals worth 30 cents, we're going to be stoked that we, uh, we we saved enough money in all likelihood to be able to buy it. Right, baby? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Dad. Just as long as you keep bouncing me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep chilling. All right, baby, you do you. Yeah, you do you, baby. A goo. A goo to you as well. Okay. You know what we're doing. Okay, this was not as hard as I thought it would be. And I'm very grateful. Uh, we probably should get in the habit of taking the negative when we don't need the Polaroid. But old habits die hard. I hate to tell you this, but I think bad PhD... Well, no. We don't We don't want it. We, like, what, again, all I would say, I guess, is is why mess with it. You know, we got a great thing going. We don't need the other stats uh, going that far up at the risk of, like, our 
relevant stats not doing as much for us. You know what I like? I don't want to take tears downs to get like a demon heart. Um, when a demon heart, I guess they would give us damage, but you know, I don't, I don't want to take bad pills just to get uh, flies because we can't even hold demon hearts and we don't really need damage upgrades at the expense of our other stats. I think this makes all familiars do double damage, which is kind of unbelievably good. Like, I feel, I feel like that was actually uh, one of the best trinkets we could possibly get in this situation. Now, I think I'm correct in the assumption that from this point onwards, it's kind of a run-out-the-clock situation. We endeavor to get to the boss. We kill the boss on this floor. We go to Corpse 2. We get ready to fight um, the boss that I keep skipping the introductory cutscene in for, and as a result, I never remember the name. Or have never learned it, perhaps more accurately. You know, let's get some mapping, maybe? You got some mapping for me? I mean, we are about to get a deal with the devil. I, I, I actually thought we were kind of tapped out of those, but... Uh, why not, right? Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But... How awesome... <laughs> That's incredible. Um, how awesome would it be... To win the hardest possible path, in my opinion, as the keeper without even having access to wooden nickel, I wouldn't have thought it possible. And yet here we are. Mind you, it took kind of a, a special item. But still. I'm just, just chilling. Just chilling down here. The other thing is that it hasn't really required any skill at all. Dude, we should not use Krampus's head. It's uh, well, th the piercing is nice, but it's actually like lower DPS output <laughs> than our than our tears, I think, because our tears are just like out of control. Well, we, they got a sale on money today, and I don't see why you wouldn't take Guppy's hairball. It's not great, but again, we're probably at the end of our uh, deal with the devil phase anyway. That that zany phase of our life is over. But yeah, like, as much as I would love to be, like, only a skilled Isaac player could complete this, genuinely, uh, we pretty much just got, you know, the, the absolute dream as far as items go. And, uh, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident, like, as, as confident as I can be. This is the only boss who could kill me at this point. Uh, not just because they're the only boss that can show up here, but because I'm also, you know, historically, like, quite terrible at, at this boss fight, but... Um, I, I got high hopes. I got high apple pie in the sky hopes. I mean, Psy Fly is gonna make dodging much easier. Because we're, we're only gonna have to worry about, like, the Brimstone laser. Don't we have Fanny Pack? I can't even remember. Brim, like, Brimstone laser... And, uh, like, contact damage, which admittedly can happen, but... What, I guess what I'm saying is, like, I need to remind myself before the fight... ...that we need to, uh... ...pay attention on the fight. Which shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Like, this is just a good practice to begin with. But then secondarily, like... <laughs> I'm feeling good. Take me down. Okay, this is for all the marbles. Sci-Fly, do your thing. It did its thing. Sci-Fly, do your thing. It did its thing. Do it again. It's still doing its thing. Okay. Can you can you break the snakes? It did a decent job. Okay, now just be careful. We watch out for brimstone lasers. I know you're like, use Krampus's head, but... As mentioned, I actually am not convinced that Krampus's head uh, actually does anything for us. I need to stay somewhat close to that. Picking it up early is fine. It's not like, you know, you get more value out of it if you're lower on HP. As long as you didn't waste the coin, you're doing fine. Oh my god, we did it. 
I can't stress enough to get hit one time on this boss fight is, is a pretty special thing. Okay, well, I mean, we did an awesome job there. We unlocked the Keeper's Sack. That must be his elbow, right, baby? Uh, and, I mean, I didn't expect that coming into this episode, but that's definitely one of the hardest uh, achievements knocked off the list. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash northernland to be notified of when I go live in the future, which is like always. Except for Saturdays. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!